I'm sitting with Rudy again, and they're going to be serving lunch here, a late lunch for us very soon. And I want to know from Rudy what he thinks of the Megadoom event. Well, this is my first, and you know, it's, it's what, 125 people here, seven, who are really into accumulating frequent flyer miles and figuring out how to, you know, get 100 extra here and 200 there. And it's just fascinating. Some of these guys are like, it's almost their lives. You know, and I think of some of their tricks. I remember when the Mint, when the Mint brought out silver dollars, you know, the government's always trying to get us to accept coins for not to get rid of dollar bills, because they last longer. And I remember when the Mint introduced the last two ones, I don't know, 10 years, however long it was, you could call up the Mint and give them a credit card and order like 50, they would call up and order like $2,000 worth of coins, and the U.S. Mint would mail them to them. And that's how much that cost to mail. They would take them, run to the bank, they would order 2000 every day, and then pay off their credit card every day by cashing it. And it took the Mint a few weeks to figure out, how come we're shipping out all these huge boxes of and uh, they stopped it. These guys find these things before the rest of us do. So they're accumulating 2,000 miles on their airline-affiliated credit card every day by buying 2,000 dollars of coins, give me the bank, so you know, it never costs anything out of pocket. Uh, and they tell these stories of, uh, one guy apparently who lived in Las Vegas found out that Hertz had some deal for 8.95 you could rent a car, and he made like 20 reservations for the day. How do you make 20 reservations at 8.95 each? He said, well, each reservation you got, I don't know, 1,500 bonus miles on an airline affiliated with us. And so I said, well, how do you drive 20 cars in a day? He said, well, I didn't drive. I just went to the Hertz counter at the airport. So here's my reservation number. And they said, okay, we'll give you the key. No, no, I don't want the keys. Here, here's your 8.95. Here's my second reservation number. Well, obviously, I said, what are you doing? So I've got 1,500 bonus miles. And he had figured out that spending 8.95 on X number of reservations returned so many miles that it was well worth it. You could afford maybe, you know, maybe you could afford an $800 airline ticket by spending $200 on Hertz credits. These guys study these things. It's fascinating to be this whole secret world of, uh, of frequent flyers. So it's been fun to, to learn some of the tips. And they really like want to know what the what the kitchen for Czech Airlines and Czech Airways looks like, which is interesting, mildly interesting. But they really want to take a picture of every pot and every tray and every whatever. It's, a, it's an inter interesting secret world. They call themselves Avgeeks, Aviation Geeks, which is uh -huh. a phrase I hadn't heard until this trip as well. Wow, some amazing tips and ideas and thoughts. Uh, Rudy is uh, known as the savvy traveler and has uh, been writing for many years and uh, as a radio show, a TV show. TV for the TV show. Yes, and uh, a lot of experience there. I'm going to put some links down below to his uh, his media, all of his travel things and his websites and stuff. And so I'll connect with him with that below so you can check out some information about him. Thank you, Seth. Thanks. Good, good, clean fun.